Hey everyone, um, today I wanted to talk to you a little uh, about um, guided imagery. So this is a really fabulous technique that you can use to calm yourself or if you're working with clients um, of any age um, to help regulate the nervous system, to improve self-esteem um, as a coping skill to help calm and ground. Um, it can be used for such a variety of different um, purposes. So um, let me just pull up my notes here. Um, it's a normal part of the human experience to rehearse negative scenarios in our mind's eye. This is a function of survival. Evolutionarily, our ancestors experienced extreme conditions when we were early humans, nomadic in nature, living in the elements and fending off extreme weather conditions, predators, and resorting to physical exertion to stay hydrated and fed. Um, if you've ever seen the TV show Naked and Afraid, this show really highlights what the struggle might have been for just early humans. Um, they are in the elements all of the time. Um, they have no tools or one or two tools, um, and they are fending for themselves in terms of how to meet their own survival needs in just, you know, extreme conditions. Um, as a result of this, ev evolutionarily humans were, um, our brains, particularly our old lizard brain adapted to look for threats and always be on guard and protect us from danger. Um, now our newer mammalian brain is part of our nervous system that can access connection, trust, and the ability to learn. Um, and the more we're able to access kind of like the higher, uh, more advanced part of the brain, that mammalian brain, the better we're able to connect with others, which allows us to get a whole host of needs met, such as love, help if we need it, um, community, you know, some of those, those basic psychological needs. Um, but if our brain's running the script on our deepest fears all the time, then we're more likely to shut down, close off, not take risks to learn and grow, and essentially keep ourselves cut off from the tribe. Um, this can lead to depression and anxiety, as well as shame, which can be paralyzing. Even though this is frequently our default mode, um, because remember, we are, you know, evolutionarily descended from um, early humans that literally kind of needed to be in that mode to survive most of the time. Um, so it's easy to default back into that space. Um, however, we know that we're capable, our brains are capable of neuroplasticity, which means that we can change our default mode of staying and stuck in fight or flight or, um, or our lizard brain. So how do you do that? Well, you have to practice and there's a lot of different ways that we can do that, but here's one we're going to, one, one we're going to talk about today is guided imagery. So you got to fire it to wire it. You have to practice. Um, if you do a crossword puzzle every day, your vocabulary will expand eventually. Um, so there are things that we can do to override our default fight or flight mode. Um, the science behind guided imagery is that if the limbic system can't determine between an actual bear in the woods or the terrifying thought about giving a public speech, both responses elicit panic, then the limbic, limbic system also can't determine between true safety and positivity that we create for ourselves. Um, or if we're practicing and moving in that direction. By sending these signals to the brain through the form of guided imagery or a story that we provide our, for ourselves or someone else of calm, peace, and relaxation, basically practicing through meditation or guided imagery um, or even, you know, exercise, um, our brain gets the message. So kind of like a brain hack, if you think about it that way. Um, this can be a powerful tool that we do for ourselves, for our clients, for our kids, for our partners, and for our friends. Um, and most importantly, we can do this for ourselves. I am going to go ahead and provide you with um, a guided imagery activity that you can use with clients. And so something to think about before you go into a guided imagery with 
a kiddo. This one that I'm going to do for you is for with kids. Um, it's best to go in intentionally and write a script or find a script. There are tons out there online that support the work you're doing. So obviously if you're doing self-esteem work, you're going to want to pick a guided imagery that has to do with self-esteem. If you're doing, um, one related to anxiety or stress or sleep, there are tons of scripts out there that you can find that will work appropriately with your client. Um, and you know, the struggles that they're experiencing, um, so this one, I actually wrote myself and it's for kids, but it's, um, an, and there's an activity at the end, um, an art activity, a drawing activity. So I'll explain that to you as well. Um, but this one's called see yourself the way others see you. So if you have a moment, um, take your time and actually engage in this activity, um, to see what it will be like for a child. So here we go. Get into a comfortable position on the floor or sitting in a chair. Take a moment to close your eyes and take a deep breath. Pretend you're in an ocean and you're floating. That means every muscle in your body is still and calm. Take another deep breath and let go of any wiggles or tightness that might be in your body. Shake it out and then rest again. Now I want you to imagine your favorite place, a place that feels happy and warm and comfortable. This could be a beach, the playground, or even your own bed. Take a minute to imagine, and in that imaginative space, look around. What do you see? Are there colors? Is it light or dark? Just keep imagining this place. Now I want you to picture a special person, a safe person there with you. This person tells you nice things and shows you they care. Take a moment to imagine this special person. What do they look like? What are they doing? Do they have certain facial expressions? Are they smiling? How do they make you feel? How does your body feel? Are you warm, cold, just right? Another breath just to listen to your body. What feelings are you having? Are you happy? Do you feel safe? Just notice what feelings you have. Now imagine that the person with you is thinking about you. What thoughts are they having? What would this special person tell you about you? Pretend they're telling you how they feel about you. Are they saying nice things? This safe person is showing you how they feel about you and the things that they like about you. Take a moment to listen. How do you feel now? Breathe deeply in and out. Just relax in your favorite place with your favorite person. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. 
Breathe out. And repeat silently or out loud. I am loved. I am important. I am kind. I am special. I am important. I am kind. I am special. Take a few more deep breaths. Now open your eyes when you're ready, no rush. Just relax. That's the end of the guided imagery. It's not too long, but it's something that you can use with kids, maybe 10 and up to reflect on someone in their life. Um, and when you're done, there are a few reflection questions that you could ask. Um, so right now I'm gonna ask you to ask yourself this, but this is obviously something that you can ask a partner or a friend or a kiddo you're working with. Um, and so the first question is, what did your special special person tell about tell you about you? How does that make you feel? Can you remember these things when you're feeling sad or scared or bad about yourself? Can we remember these things and remind ourselves to feel a little bit better? If you're working with a kiddo and they've reflected on this, an, another wonderful thing to do is to have the child or the adult um, draw the special person and the scene that they envisioned. They can write or have you write, if they're a little bit younger, the positive things that the person, the special person shared with them. And then they can keep the photo as a reminder of all the positive things about them. Um, I hope you enjoyed this activity. I think it's um, kind of a fun one, a creative one that you can do with um, clients, particularly ones that might be struggling with self-esteem. Um, and so this, this script was geared a little bit toward a younger group, but obviously you could adapt the script to um, be a little bit more adult or a little bit younger, depending on the population you're working with. So I hope you enjoyed and, um, you know, this inspires you to maybe engage in guided imagery with your clients for a variety of um, different, you know, goals or um objectives that you're working on in your counseling sessions. All right. Have a great day.